Welcome back to Taco Bowler Gaming. My name is Taco Bowler. Let's continue today our run playing as the United States, um, going eventually for what would be the uh, History Repeats Itself achievement, which is to um, play as the United States of America and defeat the South again. Uh, last time we, we got to the election, we got to, to the communism, so we're going to continue down this path. Um, however, um, yeah, we're still under the Great Depression. We're going to try and do this one next. This should give us a majority in Congress. Uh, and once we get out of the Great Depression, uh, we will switch over from infrastructure and begin immediately uh, making some civilian factories uh, and maybe some military factories. Um, I think we can't get out of this until later. We can't get out of that until we've gotten out of undisturbed isolation. But we should not need to uh, do any more lobbying efforts, although you can grant statehood to Alaska, Hawaii, etc. All right, a representative criticizes the president. That's fine. Senator, okay, so I usually always take these and do them. Um, so we need a new munitions plant in North Carolina. Okay, um, actually, I don't want to put a munitions plant in North Carolina. I'm going to be fighting North Carolina, so actually these deals are below the president. So that's something to really watch out for. Um, actually, as you head into the Civil War, uh, we're going to be facing that kind of a problem. Uh, unlike the fascists, in the fascist Civil War, um, stuff... You know, manpower gets moved around, infantry equipment gets moved around. In this one, it's factories. The factories will randomly move from the north to the south. So, um, yeah, you, you want to make sure you're not giving them anything more than you already have to. You'll also notice I have a new mod. This is, I think it was F, FPS uh, Hoi 4 or something like that. Um, I, hopefully, it's going to give us a little more frame rate. I hope. We shall see. All right, National Focus is completed. The Silver Union protests, led and organized by the Silver Legion of America, a number of centrist and right-wing organizations today marched through the Capitol in one of the largest demonstrations Washington has seen so far. Other gatherings have been reported all across the country. The march ended in front of the Capitol, where the crowd demanded that the communists in Congress assembled were delivered to them to stand trial before a people's grand jury for treason against the United States. Privately, some members of the administration share some of the protesters' more legitimate concerns about the rule of law and adherence to constitutional checks and balances. Others, however, suggest a hard line against them. With more demonstrations planned for the coming weeks, we must choose quickly. Uh, we can not bow to the mob, or we can lose some stability and avoid escalating the situation. We want to move towards civil war. We need that. So we will not bow to the mob, and that puts us way behind on uh, political power, but that's okay. So we're now going to go for the Accumulated Wealth Tax Act. Um, as you see, we have plenty of Congress now, so that is good. We get that. The people in our country have amassed an absurd amount of capital. This money sits passively in bank accounts or invested in practically in large buildings, gilded uh, furniture and expensive paintings. None of these serve any viable economic purpose. By instituting a new tax, we will force those among our citizens who have amassed such useless wealth to reinvest money into the economy. And that will help the Great Depression go away to slow recovery, which is very, very good, and of course gives us a little bit of communism support, which will help. We have 21% uh, of that. It also will help if we can get over here Right, we have this now, we could do that. Recruitable population goes way up. That's really nice. It would help if we can get to democratic socialism and just become communist. Um, that would, would massively help. I want to make sure that I can still do this. Yeah, I can. One thing that I'm looking at right now, though, is that I don't think this one gives us the weight. Uh, in diplomatic, I'm going to pause it just so I can do that research. Uh, in diplomatic, you'll notice that um, after this law is passed, it will take 230 days until further New Deal legislation is drafted and can be signed. I don't see that on here. So I'm going to see if that's the case, but it's possible that we can actually double up immediately back to back and really start improving that, uh, that economy. 
it is 1936 still, but very close. We could start on these. Let's see what else we uh, are missing out on. Yeah, I think we're, we're good. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do uh, some more of this, get some organization in our leg infantry uh, there. Some more uh, land doctrine. We are not France. All right, I think I have enough uh, sea experience. i just pull them back. We can now make better submarines. Um, I don't know if that's beneficial or not. You're going to be fighting them. So up to you whether you do that now or later. I think I'm going to do that later because we can always retrofit what gets made. I would like to fight less good submarines. Frankly. Alright, so it is January now, so let me pause and let's go ahead and get some more of this stuff. Um, I do think that we don't really care about construction as much as we care about production at this moment in time. So we will be able to deal with that. And again, the Navy, I think, the Navy gets split up, but the Army, this entire Army stays with you. From what I remember. So that's why I'm not uh, not uh, deleting that or anything. I'm pretty sure the Air Force will stay with us, though I'm not 100% sure about that. Alright. Um, yeah, so we're gonna just delete these here. And we're going to start building some mills up there. Because the United States is the United States. We have a lot of civilian factories. And we're going to need some military factories to prepare for this war. And the war is not far away. Once you say that you're not going to bow to the mob, that, that starts things. Starts it off. Uh, we will go back and do some more industry. Again, I'm going to do this first. And we'll get construction next, I guess. But we'll do that. I hope this works. I really hope this works. All right, the completed wealth tax is done. Let's go over here and see. Yes, we can. Agricultural adjustment next. So back to back, back to back. I love that. Um, and that will take us from slow recovery to slow economic growth. Our farmers have been practically hard hit by the depression, particularly, excuse me, we must ensure that the people who produce our food are not driven out of business by an unchecked market. There you go. Uh, we can pay farm subsidies after doing that. So now, um, the Great Depression has become slow recovery. So our consumer goods factories goes down. The joint faction tension limit is down, but that doesn't really matter. But the daily political power is getting better. We are now making 0.47 per day. I have free dockyards. Okay. Um, let's just do eight. No, no, seven. I need some convoys. Just put some in convoys. Uh, we'll put five in convoys? No, we'll do four in convoys and we'll get that eighth in submarines. Uh, this is a 1936 tank, so let's go ahead and research that. I, I kind of want to, <laughs> to build those tanks, because if we can get a tank out there, that would be massively beneficial, but I think we'll be okay. Um, I, I want to put the next factory here. All right, stop. Protests escalate into violence. Tensions escalated at another protest in the capital of the gay as another mass protest was called by, amongst others, the Silver Legion of America. Repeating their earlier demands that a number of members of Congress be arrested and turned over to them, the protesters have issued an ultimatum of one hour before they would storm the Capitol and remove the people on their list by force. When the ultimatum passed without reaction, small squads of Silver Legionnaires rushed the Capitol, lines of Capitol Police and a bloody melee developed, which quickly spread to engulf other protesters. With the police so occupied, other groups gained entrance into the building, Going from room to room, they managed to find several of their intended victims, but were stopped from leaving by armed police. 
In the ensuing firefight, several of the attackers were killed, while two congressmen were injured. An ugly mood has settled over the Capitol, with both sides blaming the other for the escalation. The next few weeks will show whether this incident, now known as the Battle of Capitol Hill, was the end of the protests or merely the prelude to an even bitter, bigger conflict. Blood has been spilt. We must expect that more will be spilt before this is over. And yes, Paradox made all of these events long before um, 2021. So that's not a reaction to anything. All right, we're starting to get some uh, stuff there. This guy is starting to be trained. Add a little bit more units to our armies. That's very good. You want to just watch the events and just kind of watch where they're going with it. Um, all right, so yeah, this is what is going on here. Uh, an industrialist moves his arm factory, setting a political climate unsuitable to business. The owner of a major arms company has today announced that he will be moving production to a more suitable location. He specifically noted an increase in union activity, which he claims lowered production and reduced investor confidence. Instead, the company will now build a new factory in an undisclosed location in the southern states. So we have one military factory that gets moved from New York to Louisiana. So that military factory is not with us anymore when we're done. That's a problem. It's a big problem. And that kind of thing will just start happening. So you really do need to be building and building up in areas you're going to keep. You know, let's say built North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, Montana, uh, up over there. You really need to be doing that. Um, and can you yet do this? I think actually that uh, we can now. No, can it? Cannot replace that undisturbed isolation. So something else has to be done for that. Okay, we'll probably just when we switch over to democratic socialism, we definitely can do that. The government of South Carolina has sent state police to shut down all tax collection uh, and assessment operations in the state. Furthermore, the governor declared any taxes and duties on tobacco and alcohol null and void and ordered businesses not to pay any customs or duties to the treasury. However, he also ordered that businesses and private indi individuals should continue to file taxes with state authorities, obviously, including taxes otherwise owned to the treasury. So uh, consumer goods factory is 5% plus for 30 days. So yeah, they're, they're playing with factories ahead of this, this civil war. Unlike um, the fascist civil war where they play, play with manpower and guns. Oh, let's go ahead and start this up again. Was it paused? Did not mean to be paused. All right, we have uh, 23 days on the Agricultural Adjustment Act. All right, so we've moved one here from California to Alabama. And again, like, I only have 10. So I don't know how many I'm going to have left at the end. So that's why we're we're quickly trying to build some more. Because, yeah. They're moving. They're moving away from us. We'll just line it up. Because we will, once, those, once that 30 days expires, we will have more civilian factories. Which is good. I need to decide, am I going to take the old age pension for stability, or am I going to take this for recruitable population? I think we'll do recruitable population. And uh, we have this and oil. Let's get that. All right. Um, stop. Uh, we have one going from Ohio to Georgia and then a mobilizing National Guard. So... Uh, North Carolina citizens in the state will form militia units that will become active when the war breaks out. That's how they get their, their stuff. Yeah, I think we're going to get recruitable population. And then, uh, we should have 35% by then, so we can probably become communist at that point. Uh, otherwise, we would gain 10 stability and gain 10 war support. That's right after we hit this. Uh, I'm not going to worry about doing this. Recruitable fat population factor plus 20%. Not going to worry about that one right now. Um, we will just begin to work down this one toward reintegration. Uh, alternatively, you could reach out to the Ware Group and then uh, this and do the Unholy Alliance. This is another thing you could do. Uh, if you head down this path, 
then uh, and ignore this. You will join the commentary, and uh, especially if you're already communist. And you can call the Soviet Union and their hundred and some odd units into your nation in the Civil War, and that they will help. <laughs> they will. They will win you the Civil War. That is one strategy you can absolutely use. Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to. I want to fight it myself. But that is something you absolutely can do. Is just rush down. You get this one, Democratic Socialism, and then just rush down to, to Unholy Alliance, uh, which would not take long. It's just 200 more, 210 more days. Join the common turn and, and call them into your war. Um, that would actually matter. A Washington to Virginia. So, like, I have them still, but I'm going to have, like, no military factories when this is over. But, because of the undis the uh, slow economic growth, we're starting to build a lot. Gaining sta uh, base stability goes down as the armory is raided. And it's going down this one. Um, this one here will remove the national spirit of slow economic growth. Completely. And I think that that's what's needed. Uh, alternatively, eventually, you could do, that, do it here. California to Alabama. Yeah, alternatively, you're not down here yet. Eventually, the not new legislation still being drafted would go into effect and you could do it there. So we will continue to build. Uh, let's build in Washington. And uh, we will just continue to do guns, guns like crazy. And let's go ahead and send that unit out, have them join that line. We are only 4.8 4 thousand guns behind now. You will go through guns like crazy in this war uh, if you are aggressive. If you don't care about winning it necessarily quickly, then you don't need to be too aggressive, or if you call on the Soviet Union, you don't need to be aggressive at all. So, I don't know if you can join the common turn without that alliance. Um, if you are already the communist states, that would be a question. For sure. All right, Amelia Earhart has circled the globe. There should be an event that comes up saying something about the Midwest is kind of deciding, and if you call them enemies, they will join the Confederacy. Um, and if you don't, they won't. Um, I haven't, don't believe I've had that yet, that event, but it is something that would be something to think about, for sure. Um, I don't think I have any synthetic refineries, so I don't think we need to worry about that. It is only July. So it might behoove us to get some of these. We've already gotten all of this, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some of these. Uh, we're not making many motorized, so I'm going to instead get a... Mm, we're, just, we're not making many motorized, so I don't know if this will, will benefit us. We're not going to keep maintenance company in. So getting logistics a signal, I mean, I guess we just use what we, we have of this. Uh, this is recovery rate and supply usage. That's not bad, given the supplies we're going to be losing. This one would be um, initiative, which is very useful. Yeah. I don't know. Alternatively, we could get heavy ships um, or build some different special forces. Hmm. That's way ahead of time, although not that long of a day count. It's only 159 days to get this. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get that. We're going to go way ahead of time in infantry equipment because that is mostly what we are going to be fighting with. So now we will get a lot of manpower, even though we have not gone off of dis disarmed nation. 
we have 35% needed. How close are we? We're at 34.3 with a daily change of 0 0.03. I think I'm going to go ahead and go for Old Age Pension Act. Then we will become the Communist States. Yeah, all right. We're... Oh, stop. <laughs> all right, we're moving from Michigan to Florida. I'm getting a little bit unlucky in the fact that they're moving to the deep south. Occasionally they, they move to other places, um, you know, like Kentucky or Tennessee or Virginia. Uh, and then you're going to be able to retake them pretty quickly. But uh, I'm getting a little bit unlucky in the fact that they are moving so far south. I'm getting a little lucky, though, that they're not getting any civilian factories. That's a thing. And that's a good thing. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a second unit training. I know we're going to lose a lot of guns in doing that, or at least a few guns in doing that. But I think that's beneficial. This is an infantry division, right? Yes. Continue to move on military factories. Just building against that. Building, building, building. I think we're going to get rid of or finish the old age pension act, and then call it an episode. And we'll see, uh, unless the Civil War breaks out before then. Civil War breaks out before then, we'll, we'll call it an episode then. It's likely that the Soviet Union will probably still send you some, some stuff. Um, I guess, like some volunteers and things, but... Yeah, they're getting a lot of military factories. We're trying to build them back behind it, but gonna be hard. Alright, we have 14. We probably have like three <laughs> when the war breaks out. Anarchist uprising in the Spanish Civil War. Oh wow, I am a non-historical. Um, it really looks good for the Republicans here. I don't have enough uh, political power to send an attaché. Okay. Fine. I won't. I won't. Obviously, some of these units are not overly well uh, done here. Oh, we can uh, upgrade you. Fast planner. Yeah, let's do fast planner for you. And I can upgrade Omar Bradley, Fortress Buster. I always love Fortress Buster. Uh, give me more guns. As many guns as I can get before this war starts and I lose so many factories. That would be a really, really good thing. Armory has been raided. Um, I'm going to line up. Uh, some more military factories once these three are done. I'm going to need some more uh, building. I don't want to lose any moment that I have the civilian factories of this area. All right, the Old Age Pension Act is done. Let us now go to democratic socialism. No right-thinking person can deny that socialism is the future of human civilization. At the same time, no proud and patriotic citizen of this republic could possibly support a system where government is no longer made by the people and of the people. Like our proud forefathers, we will create a new form of government that combines both. Change popularity of communism goes way up, and we become the Communist States of America. Now let's go ahead and get Excavation 3. And since I have a little bit of time left on my timer, we'll actually get that one done, and we'll become the Communist States of America. And I mean, the Civil War has to be going at some point. We have so many things here. So now they're starting to move the civilian factories. Is what it is. There it is! Succession! Call it what it is. Treason! Alright. So it begins in uh, Confederacy. All right, so yeah, neutral block forms, the unaligned states of America. 
following the outbreak of hostilities between the United States and the Confederacy of American States, a number of state legislatures have passed motions of non-intervention. These laws order uh, the governor to maintain the territorial integrity of the state and prevent combat troops from either side from entering. They further ban any kind of recruitment efforts by their side, but crucially, do not restrict the sale of arms and munitions to either party of the conflict provided the payment is rendered beforehand. The motions also stress that the states consider, consider themselves to be part of the United States and do not wish to form their own permanent government. So we can say that they are cowards, but certainly, but at least not enemies, uh, and we guarantee them, and so does the Confederacy, or they have chosen their side and they will uh, take that. Um, I do not wish to fight them. I am sad that they're not on my side, but I do not wish to fight them. So we will choose that they are cowards, certainly, but at least not enemies. And now we will wait for further succession. And they will get out of the lands. That is fine. Here we go. A house divided. Mere hours after the first state severed its ties with the United States, others followed suit with almost identically sounding declarations. Hopes of a peaceful separation were quickly dashed when several demonstrations in the affected states in favor of continued membership in the United States turned bloody and a number of federal officials were assaulted. In a few cases, supporters of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, or just people accused of uh, insufficient zeal for independence, were lynched by the crowd. Interim President Leslie Posey has called these events regrettable but understandable acts of civic retaliation against government overreach and promised the perpetrators presidential pardons if they came forward. He further demanded a complete withdrawal of all federal troops from the territory of the new state, as well as a demilitarized zone at the border to avoid further misunderstandings. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt has refused to even entertain the notion and ordered the military to restore order in the states in rebellion. So this is a lot fewer states than I was expecting to be in rebellion. Um, hopefully I don't regret this, but I'm going to go ahead and set the, uh, set the line right here, and hopefully we don't have uh, Kentucky, Missouri, and Oklahoma join. I was expecting them to join. I'm glad they're not. Also glad the capital is in Tennessee. That, your luck, uh, your luck may be different there. But you can see we now have four military factories. I want them all on guns for sure. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and force that deployment, and we will just sit here with this, and uh, we will put them there. They're green, but they're good units. Uh, our navies, you can see the navy is much, much smaller. Um, I want everyone to come into New York and we will reorganize. And you can choose whether to fight that navy or not. I kind of think that that's a good thing to do, but we'll see. Um, my guess is that these guys will uh, come back. When it's done, uh, this did not happen in either of my previous two runs, so we shall see. Ready to move. Uh, and we'll just create an offensive line of... Move out! No. Of somewhere very deeply south. All right. Attention. You should not be moving anywhere. Oh, we have one unit that is moving. Okay, so it's, it's calm now. And yes, the Soviet Union wishes to send some volunteers. Fantastic. I would love that. How close am I here? Yeah, uh, we're a long ways away. So this will be the end of the episode. We have begun the Second American Civil War. Uh, actually, actually, there should be an event for that. Can I get to the event? Oh, they want to lend lease me things too. Fantastic. I would love to do that. So if you're ever out of guns, we can... Uh, here we go. You can uh, do the old trick of training a bunch of troops, the Soviets will send you guns, and then you can delete those troops. The tensions in the United States have come to a boiling point. Unhappy with the policies of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the legislatures of several U.S. states have voted to succeed from the Union. Any hopes for a peaceful resolution of the conflict have been dashed, and hostilities have broken out along, all along the front. It appears that the majority of the government has decided to stay with the legitimate government, but reports show a surge of volunteers across the succeeding states. With neither side willing to back down, observers expect a long and bitter struggle. History repeats itself. And with that, I will 
Uh, sign off for today, and I will see you next time.